Now, if you have any questions about 6.0, go back and look at 6.0. If not, get ready to reset your brain and move on to 6.4 because we're going to change a lot of things. Some change will be minors, some change will be majors, but almost everything changes. First of all, and we'll give you the Ford sales pitch. The 6.4 has been designed to meet the tougher emission standards. That's a fact. It's been designed to meet the customer's expectations of high power and torque over a wide range of RPM, quote, end quote, Ford. The demands are accomplished by common rail, high-pressure fuel, not the high-pressure oil we had in the 6.0. We're talking up to 29,000 PSI of fuel pressure. Series sequential turbochargers, not one, but two turbochargers. And four valves per cylinder with dual timing system. So here's this thing. I'm going to tell you, if they made them this pretty, I would even be thinking about buying one of these ugly things and put it under the hood of my car. Here's what we have. Let's start breaking down. Everything on here is different. We'll stop at the upper left. First, we've got a low-pressure turbo. Adjacent to it is a high-pressure turbo. And separate them in the high part of the screen is an engine oxidation catalyst. This is called diesel oxidation catalyst. It's going to help us with getting particulates down a little bit. We've got a fuel cooler. Since we're going to be pressurizing the fuel, we cool the fuel now while we cool the oil before. We're just going to cool it down if it's getting warm. And down the side and around to the back, across the front of the engine, we have two EGR coolers. We have a vertical one running down in the front of the engine, and down the, the left side, we have a horizontal EGR cooler. So we have double EGR coolers, double turbos, things that look the same. Our oil filters, our secondary fuel filter, looks like we had before. A lot of things are going to look the same, but things have changed. The high-pressure common rail fusion is going to use a piezoelectric fuel injector. Everybody's going to these. The latest version of GM, the newer, uh, the newer Cummins, and the Ford 6.4 have gone to piezoelectric. They're much faster than the solenoid type used by other manufacturers. We're going to use 29,000 pounds of fuel pressure maximum for a high-pressure fuel rail. We're going to use electronics to activate and control the fuel injection to the cylinders and tie it all together. So here's the components we're looking at. The fuel system supply, the high-pressure fuel injection pump, the high-pressure fuel tubes, the sensors that were for high pressure, and the duty cycle, the fuel injectors, the electrical components, and the actuators. So let's get started and see what makes this 6.4 tick. <laughs> 